I was going to say, it wasn't, so he wasn't in the army too long no. before this happened. He wasn't even in the army a, a year. year. Yeah. Yeah. So now on to the autopsies. Colette's autopsy was conducted by Major George Gamble. He was a pathologist at Womack Hospital. Now he surmised that Colette had died of a result of multiple stab wounds to her thorax and neck area. She had a wound to her right temple where skin was missing and the surrounding area was black and blue covering her right eye area. She had two additional lacerations to her left temple area and a midline fracture to her forehead. She also had extensive bruising to her chin area. Her head showed six blunt force trauma blows done by a blunt object, and the most significant one was to her nose, which caused a fracture. Now, Dr. Gamel found nine deep incisional wounds to the front of her neck and seven more to her chest area. She also had 21 small puncture wounds over the area of her left breast, and her right wrist had been fractured